I'm Tristan Mercier. Uh, what, what to tell, what to tell, uh, good question. There's uh, Tristan Mercier. And there's people, they're really talented, they've got a good sort of tight cast yeah. and uh, initially they were all quite suspicious, you know, yeah. <laughs> is there any film in the camera? So I yeah. uploaded a, a, a trailer onto YouTube a few months back under Claire Trailer, C-L-A-I-R. Your mother had a brave face. Looks like man, you never stop slapping. Have I laid a hand on you? Tonight? Quite something, my daughter. Give me what's mine, or I'm leaving. I know I don't always show it, but I really do appreciate what you boys have done for me. After all you've done, you can't tell me you don't deserve it. This is where the fun begins, and the weekend starts. Well, I've known Kevin for years, <laughs> but uh, thankfully he didn't cut me any slack on that. He still made me come on audition. Uh, which was good. What were the auditions like? Um, well, I was incredibly nervous. It was my first real professional audition, and uh, it went really well, uh, considering, I suppose, because I got the part. Because it does, it has got that, that feel of a feature film. It's got the look of it. You can see the work that's gone into it, and I think the work at the end of the day will shine through. The character is called Jakob. Uh, he's Russian from Leningrad. Uh, had a rough upbringing, just generally a rough time. Something of an enigma. We don't really know a lot about it. I do, but you don't. at least that he is um, a man who is constantly reborn and he's not afraid to die and uh, that's why 
He's an enigma. Symbolism. Well, as far as he's concerned, he's been alive for more than two and a half thousand years. It's something to do with sort of ancient Celtic magic. That's why he's an enigma. Died on this green shit. You don't call a gollum for nothing. That's how you end up. Till you did. Yeah. Do you think he might be a nicer person if he's been around that long? Um. Well, he doesn't see it that way. He sees that he is fighting for the good cause. Gollum, where'd you get that? Fresh. People have died on this green shit. He's he's killing bad people. And he, he only, his, his sole mission in this life, as far as he's concerned, is to get rid of Macklin. Tomorrow, we'll give it to him as his special stuff. You know about the colour? Yet. Freebase it, put it under the lamp, grind it, goes back to white. Clever, eh? Hey? We're telling it's not very strong. <laughs> You'll have to take quite a bit. What a shit, swat! Are you gonna give him that in front of his daughter? Is that a problem? No. That's the spirit. Well, I was incredibly nervous. It was my first real professional audition, and uh, it went really well. Thankfully, he didn't cut me any slack. He still made me come on an audition, which was good. He is going to destroy you. Isn't that where you? No one's ever saved my life before. People are watching. How oh, I get it. You know what they're capable of. Don't know what you've done, but he's upset. This must be the ready money round. There's a bonus man too. Thanks, Matter. Oh, you lady. I have you home. Hi, Chris. Because he is aware through the forces that be that Macklin is going to cause great destruction and chaos in the world. What? Busy with edible nightsticks? Not really a new threat. Someone I should have spotted a long time ago, whittling at me, right here, in my midst. Thwarting you at every turn. I'm sorry. He didn't mean to do that. And that's why it's his mission to get rid of him. The downside of being a schizophrenic. So what did he say? These voices, voices, voices. What about her? Oh well, his habits are well known. He'll be dead within the hour. And if she's partial, so will she. Why should that bother us? Is that a problem? No. Mostrove! That's the spirit. That's the spirit. At that moment, then suddenly the knife goes. Zoom! Right between you, right on the dartboard. I've always got over things. We move on. You know, I was crazy about it. You look so like her. Why couldn't you just dress shit or something? Because I've got somewhere to go. And you've got serious business.
Is there any other kind? Monkey. Quite something, your daughter. What's this? Scoop. No Cecil. It's not monging gear, but if you shovel it in, you get the same kettle. Been lost on you, haven't he? What? The subtle nuances of the English language. This is not monging gear. That's right. Why the rush? You've, uh, company. We don't want to be... In the way? Now, sit down. We the skull dogs. Come wait. I'll have to shovel it in then. Sorry, boss. I know I don't always show it, but I really do appreciate what you boys have done for me. Not as a time goes for. Oh, there is. Here. Ah, uh, we couldn't. Why not? We just, we just couldn't. After all you've done, you can't tell me you don't deserve it. Oh, that's not what I meant. What did you mean? I know you've been overlooked, again and again, and that can't have been easy for you. You've been brought to my attention. I'm seeking to strengthen the outfit. Now, enjoy. We've been uh, hammering it a bit lately. We've been uh, hammering it a bit lately. Yeah, I noticed. We're trying out. Getting back to reality. Yeah, that's it. This is all shit then, the best is a bit injection, buddy. I want, I want you with the needle then, maybe lean in a power position across the table. If this is all shit, then the best hit would be injection. But I've only one needle. I suppose I'll have to use it. But... Uh -uh. If ifs and buts were only a nuts, we'd all have a Merry Christmas. This is where the fun begins and the weekend starts. What's going on? Are you familiar with the cross keys? Do you know the story? It's fascinating. You'll love it. Filled with intrigue. It's said. Its walls capture whispers and bring them to the ears of those against whom others would plot to overthrow. So here we are, mixing up the medicine. Ah! Look out, kid. It's something you did. Guys, really, don't look well. <laughs> now, if we just look back a little bit, as if you're dead, sort of thing. Open your mouth a bit, like as if you're dead. Someone going to get us. Yeah, that looks pretty good, doesn't it? Because the, the light's going to be more or less around that angle. It looks scary. This is your zombie man. It's horrible, this isn't it? Now we do a little bit on his ear as well. So being dead was part of your plan? Yes. <laughs> you talk about being dead. We just move to the next life. Let's chill. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a look again. So accurate, isn't it? Yeah. So we just have a look at that. Let's put lit. Let's have a look. Yep. Three, two. Well, I'll do that shot frame within a frame. Yes, we're rolling. Now then, about that money. Maybe Jake and Emilio's sudden demise has softened his resolve. 
something we can take advantage of. Now those men are dead. It would solve a lot of things if he was out of the way, wouldn't it? Michael. But he's not. Now Jake and Amelia are dead. You should have told him. Did you enjoy that, Chucky? Yeah. First wash about in a week, though. What a card game that was, eh? Yeah. <laughs> Hard day at the office, darling. Right, does that look clean? Smell like a baby's ass, no? Let's have a look, Tristan. How's that looking? Ah, uh, gorgeous. Wonderful. Do I look now? Look, looks fantastic. See, it's all that he wasn't dead. <laughs> He's not dead, I'm not dead. <laughs>